hello guys as was promised in this video i am going to show you how you can integrate crew ai with olama so that you would be able to create your agentic software or ai agents locally and privately by using your local models so that you don't have to pay for any apis and in my opinion if you are looking to run these ai agent based software applications in your environment whether it is your production development or whatever there is then instead of running it through api based models run it through the local models whether you use any olama lm studio or whatever tool you are using use it with the local model otherwise your cost will just go through the roof in this video i am going to show you one of the easiest way of running these models locally and then integrating crew ai with it and we will also look at one of the real world problem where we will be creating couple of agents and then we will orchestrate them together if you want to know more about crew ai i just did a video before this one where i showed you what exactly crew ai is how to create these agents and what exactly those ai agents are but i used open ai for that one i will also drop the link to it in videos description or in the comment also the code which i am going to use for this video i will put it all on my blog and i will drop the link in video's description so don't worry about copy and pasting let me take you to my local system and just one more thing i wanted to tell you that in my humble opinion crew ai is one of the most easy way of creating these ai agents at the moment quite stable quite easy to use both with closed source and open source so let's get right into it let me take you to my local system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 22 GPU of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Now make sure that you do it all in Conda environment because it makes it so easy, clean and nice to get it installed locally, separately. I already have Conda installed. If you don't know how to install it, I have already got another video on the channel. Just search with the keyword Conda you can see that i have conda 24.1.2 installed let me clear the screen now let's quickly create a conda environment where i will be simply creating it with the python 3.11 by using this command let's wait for it to create this conda environment just press y here and then it should be done any second that is done let's activate this environment you can see that it is activated in the parenthesis let's clear the screen now the tool which i am going to use in order to run my model locally is called as olama let me quickly show you the olama so this is the olama again this is one of the most easiest way of running the models locally if you don't know what olama is i already have done heaps of videos on it just search with olama and you should be able to find it but if you don't have it installed and you want to know what now just go to olama.ai or olama.com click on download then for example if i'm using linux just click on linux then just copy this command from here and then go back to your terminal just type it here press enter and olama will get installed i already have it installed i'm not going to run it again if i do olama list you will see that i already have mistral model downloaded if you do want to download it just run olama run mistral and then mistral will get downloaded on your local system and it will be running i already have it so i'm not going to run it again so you have the model now you have the conda environment configure now let's install the crew ai installation of crew ai is very simple all you need to do is to run it with the pip command i'm just going to install crew ai crew ai tools and langchain community let's press enter here you don't take too long let's wait for it and then i will clear the screen crew ai is installed here let me clear the screen another thing i would highly suggest you do it you can do it another way too which i will show you but you can set the environment like this you can set open ai's api base like your local host where olama is running the default port of olama is 11434 just in case if you're running it on 
on any other port just replace that port with it model which i just showed you is mistral and keep your open api key i would suggest just put it na here and then press enter so this is one way of doing it you can even do it in the code which i will show you shortly so let me clear the screen and now let me fire up my python interpreter the first up let's ignore uh, ignore all the warnings because we don't want to see any warnings just to keep things clear and nice let's import our agent task and crew now if you haven't watched my other video where i describe crew a let me quickly explain what exactly this means if you see i'm importing agent i'm importing task and i'm importing crew from crew ai agent is what role you want to this agent to play task it what this agent will do and crew is where we combine both agents and tasks together so in this video i am going to create two agents first agent is going to do the legal research the second agent is going to draft a document on the basis of that legal research and i will call this crew or this team of both agents with the keyword legal keyword okay do this research on this topic so first the first agent the legal researcher agent is going to do the research and the second agent the drafter is going to draft the legal document for that we need to import this agent task and crew second up let's also import chat open ai because we want to use this llm local one and for that this is how you can define it now here i have given it the open ai api key again and local host which we defined earlier you don't need to give it here if you already have done above but i'm just just wanted to show you if you want to do this you can also do it like this or you can import those from your environment and do it here but either way whatever you like now we have set up our environment we have instantiated our llm which is local now let's define our first agent as i mentioned the first agent which I'm going to define here is this one. Its name is legal research agent. And then I'm calling the agent function. I'm defining the role is to do legal research specialist. This is the goal to provide accurate and relevant legal information. And this is a context or backstory. I'm providing it that, okay, agent, you work at a law firm and are tasked with conducting research and your expertise will help the legal team build a strong argument. And then we don't want it to delegate this task to any other agent and i'm specifying the llm is the local one let's define second agent which is going to write the document or draft it and this is the definition of it again we are just giving it a role this is your role this is your goal to craft clear and persuasive legal document and then the context is that you're a legal writer and then a legal brief on this topic this is a topic we will give it and then same is the previous agent where we are giving this topic here and then we are specifying the llm here now we have defined the agents let's let's define the tasks for both of them for the first agent which was legal researcher agent let's define this task which is to conduct legal research this is the description of the task that you need to do first investigate relevant laws then analyze legal articles then identify this blah 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 and then whatever task your workflow has just give them there we are also telling it that this is expected output data comprehensive legal research report and then include relevant sources and this and this is the agent this task is attached to the first one let's define the task for the second agent if you see here again same pattern we are defining the description that okay you need to do this 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 four things this is the expected output and you your uh, agent is legal writer agent so we have defined our agents we have associated our tasks with them now let's define the crew or the team in the crew we are telling it that these are the agents and these are their tasks and it goes sequentially so we have two agents each agent has one task once that's done all you need to do is to kick off this crew with a topic of your choice so for example i am just asking it that employment law and discrimination so what will happen is the legal research agent is going to research on this topic first because it will be conducting this task and then the second agent 
the writer agent is going to draft the legal brief so as i press enter you see the first agent is working it is entering into that chain once it finishes its task the second will kick off so let's wait for it there you go you see finish the chain the second agent now it is drafting it and if i just scroll above you see all the thought process is there it is just talking about here so it has found something and it is organizing it it is summarize the finding and then there you go the second agent has also finished you go it, it is also telling us what it did and this is a finished chain this is a legal document drafters work this is the task output it has defined the whole document it has divided it into different sections and then it has given us the references as we had asked how good is that everything running local and private so just think about it if you have any workflow any process in your organization just you must have some steps some standard operating procedure sops define them as a task create an agent around it give those agents roles and their a description knit them together or tie them up together or or in other words orchestrate them together through the crew and then just take it off and you will have your whole agentic software or ai agents orchestrations running all locally privately and then uh, you don't have to worry about your api cost and stuff how good is that and this is an open source free tool so this is it guys as i said i will drop the link to this crew ai and the code in video description play around with it and if you like the content please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it would help me a lot thanks for watching